Visiting restaurants was a rarity in the small town of my youth. A luxury for random Sundays when the faithful would gather at the local spot and discuss which preacher was long-winded based on the last congregation to arrive. Of course, this was limited during football season, and pastors knew better than to get preachy when the Cowboys played the early game. Searching for a Friday afternoon dining spot, I happened upon a place that harbors memories of my younger days, vivid images of meeting my father for lunch, The bright exterior had been replaced by even brighter shades of enchilada reds, checkerboard tiles changed to saltillo clay, and burgers on the grill gave way to a wonderful plate of Mexican food, as if Abuelita herself was in the kitchen. And she probably was. Settling in with thoughts of my father in the corner booth, certain dadisms came to mind. Work smarter, not harder. Or sometimes grab a shovel. This job needs a weak mind and a strong back. Recently interring my mother's ashes required a post hole digger to work through the rocks, hard clay, and ultimately a large oak root that rattled my inner being. I could hear Dad chuckle from his adjacent resting place. I began to recall times we spent together, and those we did not, mostly when I was too busy to go fishing. I truly regretted the missed opportunities with the realization that fishing was not always about catching fish. There is wisdom in a properly tired lure or baiting a hook to sit still and be quiet as to not scare the fish away. Stop talking, stop doing, and just listen even if only crickets. I expect Jesus' call for Peter to leave his nets was similar. Stop doing and listen. I often think about Peter on that Saturday after Jesus' crucifixion. He didn't know. He had denied his greatest friend three times, heard the rooster crow as Jesus looked his way. He watched our Savior die. Nothing made sense. Sunday morning, when he stepped into an empty tomb, he still didn't know until Jesus reappeared and everything he had said came back and made sense. Talk about dadisms. Because of that horrid Friday and the following glorious Sunday, I'll get the chance to take Dad fishing again on a sea of glass, clear as crystal, as it says in Revelations. Perhaps Peter will come along and show us the ropes, and Jesus will sit in the boat and tell stories. We will stop doing, sit still, and listen. And now, the unravel. My dad passed away 20-plus years ago, but I still hear his voice when I'm in a jam or can't turn a wrench in a tight spot. He says, think about it. It just takes a little physics and a lot of elbow grease. I miss him.